So, um, I don't think um, people should be paying that much attention to Israel. It'll work. It, it'll have to work itself out. We have enough problems here. But for whatever reason, the media wants everybody to focus there. And I'm not saying that it's not really happening because I think it is. I think there's problems there. But there's corruption there. There's corruption, obviously, in the terrorist organizations. And there's questions about why the intelligence didn't pick this all up sooner. So I think that really Americans, um, you know, like I never really feel good when I'm standing on the side of the politicians, no matter what side. Like, and you know, Lindsey Graham's out there and, and, and that Nikki Haley, you know, yeah, get him Israel, just get, and it's like, yeah, the, you know, yeah I don't like your talk. I don't like, I don't like any of your talk. Um, I stand, so this is my position, I stand with the innocent people of Israel and the innocent people that are in, caught in the middle of all of this, that it really goes back to the global bankers, ultimately, you know, your George Soros, all that. But I think really the focus Amer Americans should have, especially given that situation, is how we have these organizations here in this country. Obviously, they've come across the borders. Um, from all over the world, okay, and God only knows what that that's about because it's up George Soros's alley because that's why he was so anti-deportation. And since he's behind Black Lives Matter, I think people start to really need to um, nail home Black Lives Matter. They, they've, they've ridden this uh, legitimacy thing for a long time, and so the media seems to, you know, the media does like to, you know, distract you and... Um, yeah, so um, we need to pay attention to what's going on here at home. I mean, last I saw, they're not sending troops. We better not be send, send troops anywhere. And, and I'm not saying, just saying we need to stay out of other people's affairs. We do. Like, um, when the college kids can start caring more about the homeless on the street than the Palestinians, then maybe I'll have some respect for you. <laughs> um, but as long as you want to get out there and march and carry on about... Um, if you want to get it, get pulled into this whole division game, I mean, the fact is we have always given money to Israel, and we have stood by them because for for for, for Christian reasons, okay. So I'm not saying you know like abandon them. It's just you, they can usually their 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 intelligence is usually the best there is out there. So um, they can handle this situation themselves. But that's what made me question because their intelligence is the best. So how did this? occur some something some things didn't go right so and since there's all these um corrupt people in people's governments i mean we see it our whole government is um yeah there's likely ones in the israeli government and and you know to help uh destroy that country and and take an because again it all goes back to the globalist agenda so that said there's always been wars with hezbollah but um, leveling Iran isn't the answer, okay? There's innocent people in all these countries. So not that I hurt, but it's, you know, it's, it's bordering there. And it's like, yeah, stop it. So, and, and, and I, feel, I feel dirty <laughs> whenever I'm aligning with any Republicans or any Democrats that are in office. I just am. I just think, oh, shower time. I, I, yeah, I need to get this filth off me because it, I, it's, not a good, it's not a good thing. Because they're talk, you know. I, I always say it. They're talk. They're all about being talk. They're talk, 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 talk. So, if since they want to do the twenty four seven Israeli coverage now, and for like twenty five years now, and I don't have a TV, so I don't watch it. But I see news clips. Uh, but you know, I remember the days when I watched it all the time, all day long. Um, and I would, I would watch the different channels. I did. I wanted to know what was going on. I didn't just want to be spoon-fed what I wanted to believe, you know, from the channel that tells me the things I want to hear. I wanted to know the truth. So um, I don't think it's a good idea to get pulled into that, though, because I think that both sides are going to play on emotions. I do. Um, that said, it's not that I don't think that it's going on. I just think that Again, um, they want to play on emotions. Um, 
That's how they've controlled people. They have. That's the reason why so many people, innocent people that didn't know who Black Lives Matter was, went out and, and, and marched with them. Um, if they were lucky, they had a peaceful protest. Many people didn't, okay? And most of them in major cities were turned into riots, and it was deliberate. It's because they're, they put those agitators in there. They're called agitators for a reason, because they're going to start trouble. And then everybody's, you know, high energy, and then everybody jumps in and acts stupid. So they like to play on emotions. That's what the professors are all about, playing on their students' emotions. How dare them? Um, and so I don't think it's a good, a good a road to go down. I mean, um, let's, it's just very simple. There's innocent people in Israel. There's innocent people in Palestine. There's innocent people in um, Iran. So um, talking about leveling this and level, yeah, we don't need that. But that, that, so that's why it's just like hearing the Nikki Haley's and, um, yeah, just gross, gross, gross. And then seeing what CNN is doing, you see CNN, it's all like they're trying to take the side. Oh, Israel's the horrible person, and then you got the other side saying it's, yeah, I'm done with this bullshit. I'm just done with it. Um, so although. Um, Biblically, I stand with the innocent Israeli people, but I stand with the Palestinian people, too, that are innocent and all this. I think there's a whole bunch of innocent people that are t totally get used as human shields by Hamas, Hezbollah. Um, and then, you know, you don't want to just, I just, I think that we need to pay focus here. Calling BLM out, calling these pro-Palestinian, because regardless, these pro-Palestinian people, they're, marching for um they don't know what they're marching for many of them and they're marching for terrorist organizations that's what we need to get rid of is the terrorist organization if there's going to be any leveling of anything it's you need to level the terrorist organizations but they know how to um um hide themselves within residential areas so anyway i don't know maybe that there, there's some there's some um God always makes things work to his advantage. Like, it, it will always take a negative and turn it to work for his agenda. God will. So maybe the open borders is, you know, I'm not saying it's a good thing. Of course not. Uh, but it's a way you could catch all of the, the scumbags. Especially given their surveillance now, you know. They would know where all these people are. I mean, because when you t listen to Trump, Trump says, no, we'll deport, them all. we'll deport them all really fast. Like, they know exactly where they are and what they're up to. And with the surveillance, I think they would. They already know the UN is complicit. They already know that many people in our government and our associations and our universities, as we can see, have been complicit in standing with terrorists and uh, globalist agendas to destroy America. That's been being seen. So um, maybe, yeah, you get as many of them across the border and then, you know, you could take care of all the terrorists. I don't know. Just something hopeful to think about. But I think that we have to pay attention here. And we really what we have to do is, um, for the Republicans and the Democrats, uh, what we have to do is whatever they're standing for, we maybe should just stand against. I mean, many of them say they stand with Trump and they don't. You know, it's just lip service. Because, I mean, there's a lot of things they could have done you know, they could have put Trump in as speaker. They didn't, did they? That should tell you who all the Republicans are. So no sense I'm getting on any of their bandwagons anymore as far as I'm concerned. That's a wasted cause. It's, it's the swamp. It's the swamp because the swamp can't do anything except serve themselves. It talk and serve themselves. Blah, 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 blah. So um, I think that really the best thing to do is just um, not be... Be talking what about what they are not talking about. That's what the American people that have channels and are speaking up should do. Is whatever the media is focusing on, it may not be such a good idea for the rest of us to just put all that attention there because, well, the media is corrupt. They put the attention where they want us to look. So let's look in um, our own directions, in our own country, at the problems here and call that out.